heart ready for the word of God. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Brother James, for that beautiful. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I don't know if you understand how much that blesses me because it was this morning that I was singing that song, and God is so good, and His mercy towards us is everlasting, and I thank Him. You know, because the Bible says that out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. So when I hear that Jehovah Shalom, is with me. When I hear that Jehovah Nissi is my banner, I'm okay. Amen? And this morning, I want you to know that I am all keyed up. <laughs> amen, amen. I'm keyed up because of the things of God. He has just been so great and magnificent. There's nobody else like him. Nobody. I've tried it, y'all. I've tried the drugs. I've tried the men. I've tried the party and I try all of those things and not one of those things can compare to who Jesus is to me right now. He is real y'all and if you don't believe him then you something got to be wrong with you. Amen. Amen. If you can't feel his spirit in this place something got to be wrong with you. You better let us know. Amen. If you dead at least have the courage to fall over so we'll know that we need to pray over you to resurrect you. Amen. God is doing something in his people and if we want to be a part of that thing, we're going to have to move when he says move. Amen. I want to read the scripture in your hearing this morning coming out of Matthew the 16th chapter. We'll be reading verses 13 through 19. The Bible says here, thank you. Y'all, I'm trying to work with the technology, y'all. Amen. He said to them, hold up. Did I go too far? I went too, see? <laughs> Amen. All right. When Jesus came, can you hold it? Because I'm reading off of my paper. The Bible declares, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Verse 15 said, and he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Mm -hmm. So Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Amen? Mm -hmm. I am keyed up. I expecting God to do great and marvelous things because he's just awesome like that. Amen. When you're keyed up, that means that you're hyped. That means that you're ready to rock and roll. It means that you're anticipating. Amen. I'm ready to get this party started. My Jesus, you know he took us from back there and brought us to over there and now we're at this place and God is giving us the keys to the kingdom of heaven and he's given us a portion of it while we're down here on the earth. Amen. I don't know if you understand this, but when you are expecting something, there's a thing that goes on inside of you. You almost want to say, I got butterflies in my stomach because I just know it's coming. My birth Day is tomorrow, Mother Nelson, but today I'm getting a little keyed up. I'm getting a yeah, little excited yeah. because I know that something is coming down the pipe. I know that from the annals of heaven that God is about to send down the blessing that he said yeah. that he had for me. And so what I need to do, I've got to get myself together. I'm ready for this, and I am more ready for this today than I was yesterday, but I'm not as ready as I'm going to be tomorrow. I might lay down tonight and I I might not even be able to sleep tossing and turning. You know when that love comes from a long ways off, amen. And you waiting for them to come. And you're looking at the clock and you saying, I know they're coming. Well, call them on the cell phone and ask them, well, where are you at now? You want those little bar 
flesh are you, Simon? Because flesh and blood had not revealed this unto you. Do you understand that when God does a thing, when he reveals a thing to you, that it is yours, that nobody can take that away from you, no matter how they try to grab it, no matter how they try to wrestle it away from you, it doesn't matter what belongs to me, what is for me is going to be for me. My yeah. Jesus, every word, every word of God is as the Bible declares, yes and amen. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. Amen. One word from God will change everything that it touches. If you're sick, bless the name of Jesus. Only one word that says that thou art healed, as he told the woman, amen, with the issue of blood. She'd been walking around for all those years, bent down, not having anybody to touch her, not having anyone around her. But Jesus said one word, who touched me? And we've got to understand that we are the ones that have to go after God. Yeah. He already made the way, so it's not a hard thing for you to yeah. do. All you got to do is open up your mouth and say, Lord, I need you. I need you, Lord Jesus. I need you right now. And watch when he show up in your situation. Yeah. Watch when he show up in your circle. Yeah. The Bible says that when he comes that he is in the midst of us to bless. And I serve a God that when he shows up, he shows out, baby. He comes in majesty and in great glory. And when he delivers you, you have really been delivered. Amen. There were three boys that was in the fiery furnace. And God went down into that place. And even though 